Hello guys, uh, in this video I would like to explain about uh, Menkendall test uh, trend analysis in R and R studio. Uh, I have done a video before this that was uh, about the theoretical background and you know how this, what is this test, uh, who developed this test and how this test work and what is uh, you know the test statistic and what is the normalized test statistic and what are the assumptions and uh, what are the application of this test and in which areas we can use this test effectively. These all things have been discussed in the previous video and that's very important really because uh, if you know the if you know to implement main Kandal test in R or Python in R studio but you will be unable to interpret the result unless you know about the theoretical background about the test statistic and about the assumptions and about you know their application. So if you want to know about those all things, you need to go to the description of this video. The link is given in the description of this video or uh, to that previous video, which have discussed all these things. So just click and watch that video and you will see what is this test and how this test work and how you can interpret the results. Okay, so this is all about the, this was all about the previous video. And today video we will discuss uh, how we can implement this in R and R Studio and what are the outputs of this test and how we can interpret the output. So this will complete uh, about the basics, concept and application of man Kandal test in R and R Studio. Uh, I will try to do a video in Python and also I will try to do some other, you know, about the modified man Kandal test and some other things that's maybe later. So let's dive into the Detail that how you can do, how you can implement this. And one thing more, uh, I have already started this, uh, you know, new thing. Uh, this code uh, is available online uh, in the repository at uh, uh, on GitHub. And the link to this code is given in the description of this video. Just go to that, click on the link, and perhaps you will need to log into the GitHub, and then you can download this code. And so you can use this code and modify this according to your, you know, your data. Just change your data. Uh, maybe you need to read the data and, you know, from a CSV file or something like this. And then you can use this code for your analysis. Okay. Now let's start this. And you need to install the package Kindal. So let's do this library. I have already installed this package, but if you have not installed, just uh, and try to install that packages. And then you need to write like this just like this and then run it you will install this package i don't need to do this because i have already installed but you need to recall this package to load this package so that the function uh, are in a workable condition just do this and then you generate this data this is some data which you know just a list of the data see and that will give you you can see the, how this data look like just look at this uh, this look like this okay and you can plot this data just plot this data and you will see how, how this data look like because this can be you know some steps in, in investigating the data so just look at the data how the trend look like and then you can test by using uh man and to see how the trend has look like in that case okay so this data look like this and that's mean that there is a positive positive trend uh, now you can do this. Okay, and this is now um, this is the output tau is equal to one. So this means uh, you 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 should know that tau is non-parametric correlation coefficient, which can also show the trend. So there is a positive trend, perfect. I mean strong positive trend, and the p-value is uh, you show the significance. So just look at this: 8.3089 e raised to the power minus 0. A minus zero minus zero five that means the p value is very small so this is significant there is a strong positive trend and that is significant so this is about tau tau is the co non-parametric correlation and you can use this also for detecting the trend in the data if you don't know about this just look google it and you will see how how you can interpret this tau uh, but i will i will suggest you can use uh, this package and this function that can give you more results about uh, the trend analysis. This package is now trend 
you can install by using the same command as I have discussed earlier, but you can just write trend here. Then you need to recall it to load it so that the function are in workable condition. Do this and then I have generated this, the same data I have generated as previously. Uh, you know, in the above example, just do this and then plot the data again, the same trend you will see, of course, yeah, because the same data but now the test and now this is different mk dot test this function is different than this this is main candle and then now this is mk dot test just do this and you will see some different output just look at this this is the main candle trend test results and you can see z which you know yesterday we have talked about this z is a standardized test statistic for uh, main candle test n is equal to 10 this is the number of observation p value is you know it's very very small and just look at this we have discussed yesterday that z is equal to something value if the value is minus this means that there is a negative trend and the magnitude of the value show the strength of the relationship uh, i mean the trend strength of the trend so this value is positive and much higher so this means there is strong positive trend and we have talked earlier by using this command that as well like here in this you know that was about tau only so this means that uh, there is positive trend which is strong trend and that is significant as well if you will is very very less than 0 0.05 if you are talking about 0 0.05 as a significance level and look at this uh, alternative hypothesis also given there uh, true s is not equal to zero okay so there is the trend mean that say that we have talked about this yesterday as well in the theoretical background so you can see sample estimate so this is s this is uh, okay s and this is variance of s uh, this was uh, if you think if you see a previous lecture you can see what is mean by s variance of s and this is tau and you know that the tau was also one in the previous you know in this one so this test is more comprehensive so you can see more information the tau is given variance given s is given z standardized test statistic value is given and of course n is given sample size and p value so this is more comprehensive you can you can use this one so you can get more information because you can get tau as well uh and now i have another um, now i can i i this is another version of the same test that because i'm using mk dot test but the data is now different because the about data which i have tested that was about there was positive trend in the data now i just wanted to see what will happen to the negative trend data and I want to see the test statistic. What is the value of test statistic? Just to, to you know, to see. Okay, just uh, now suppose n is equal to 50 and time is from one to n, that's mean from one to 50 and then generate this data by using this command. And now plot this data that you can see this sometime, you can see exploratory data analysis. Just look at this data, how the data look like. You can see the plot. Yeah, of course, this is very, very, you know, negative and uh, declining data. And that means there is very strong negative trend. So the test statistic should be with negative value and strong leads. You know, MATLAB, I mean, the magnitude should be much higher. And uh, this look like insignificant. I'm not sure now, but we will see. Uh, just look at this. Now, this test, the same test I'm using, and the result will be saved in this one. You can do directly like, you know, I have done in the previous like this, but you can do like this. The result will be stored in mk underscore result and then you can print this one no matter okay okay now look at this so now the format is a bit different but look at this okay uh then then the null hypothesis and there is no trend no monotonic trend in the data and the alternative is there is uh monotonic trend in the data Okay, just look at this. You can see the, the previous lecture for detail. Man can dial trend test. S is given by this. Variance of S is this one. And tau is this one. Just look at this tau is very strong and with a negative sign. Just look at this higher magnitude. And now uh, uh, the results. Just look at this Z, the standardized uh, the standardized man can dial test. The statistic value is minus at so negative. That means decreasing trend. There is downward trend with the high magnitude the strengths show the magnitude should store the strength and the sample size is a 50 and look at this very very small video look at this e power minus 19 
so that means that uh, there is a very strong downward trend this very strong downward significant trend in the red line which is obvious uh, from this part just look at this you can see obviously there is negative and uh, there is downward significant trend in this data so this is all about uh, how you can use main candle test in r and r studio and uh, you will be unable to explain the results of this unless you watch the previous video because that has explained the theory the test statistic the interpretation of the results so i will i will i will suggest you watch that video first and then implement it in r and r studio and python and then you will be, you will be uh, you will be able to elegantly explain and interpret your result for research paper technical report your thesis and so on uh, okay and uh, i think this is enough for today and thank you very much and see you in the next video ciao